Hi, Nikki Harrison here. So glad you're joining me today. You're going to watch a video where I show you how to shoot wide open, inside, with studio strobes, not using high-speed sync. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot with a three-stop neutral density filter. Okay, go and get a neutral density filter that screws right onto your lens, or what you can do is you can just get some neutral density film, and you can find that at B&H or Adorama or any of your local camera stores will help you with that as well. So we're going to use a huge softbox. We're going to use a light motive by Ellen Crumb. We're going to use my 5D Mark IV, my 85 1.2. We're going to shoot wide open, okay? Now keep in mind the settings are going to be, shutter is going to be shot at 200, my ISO is at 100, my aperture is at 1.2. There's also going to be an editing video available for purchase and download afterwards over at ChasingLightActions.com. But now we're going to take you through, we're going to show you a bunch of the video, we're going to show you the, the lighting setup and everything. We're also doing a second shoot, but we're not going to use an ND filter in this, we're just going to shoot Aperture F7, but it's beautiful, beautiful light. You're going to see a couple poses that we do, you're going to see a few of those finished images as well. So we're really happy that you're here and don't forget to go over to ChasingLightActions.com and get some actions and join in the fun here. This is a whole bunch of creative deliciousness happening today. And hey, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button because we're going to be doing a lot more behind the scenes, showing you a lot of different techniques that I do, a lot of different editing styles, all kinds of stuff. You're not going to want to miss this. Subscribe. Thanks. My intuition backgrounds and they're absolutely beautiful so Becky hand paints all of her images and then converts them to uh, digital files and has them printed and you will see today just how amazing it is that they actually photograph and this is the other side of the light motive I just wanted to show you how huge it is and it's so big but the light being that it's indirect the strobe goes in facing that ring. So you know that that ring is how the strobe is attached. And so the light is actually reflected indirectly onto the silver, back through the diffusion panel, and then onto the subject. Mm -hmm. 